1,000 meters of pain to secure the first yellow jersey. It's difficult to gauge how big that gap is, but no one has any teammates left. They're all leaders in the front there. They're all looking at each other. Who's going to close it? This is a fight for survival on the final ramps of this climb. 800 metres to go for Julian Alaphilippe. Behind him, Latour, Wout van Aert. In that group is Primoz Roglic, Jonas Venegaard, also Balkan Molema, Vincenzo Nibali, Mathieu van der Poel, Alaphilippe. It's so, so close right now to the finish line. Four hours, 37 minutes, coming up to four, th four hours, 38. Alaphilippe is dangling. He's still there. Can he get himself to this final run into the finish and take the first yellow jersey of the race? Latour is just going backwards. Has he got enough? It looks like it's going to be a dream start for France, a dream start for Julian Alaphilippe. He's almost there. What an attack on the final climb. The Wolf Pit isn't a Wolf Pit. The Wolf Pack has not succumbed to the dangers of this final climb of the day. Julian Alaphilippe, the world champion, is going to deliver. He's going to deliver the first yellow jersey. He's going to think back to the last few weeks. He became a father to Nino. I'm sure that is going through his mind right now. Here he goes, Julian Alaphilippe. He wins stage number one of the Tour de France. Alaphilippe is the winner. He's the first Mayo Jean. What a dream come true. Behind him, the sprint. It's Michael Matthews ahead of Primoz Roglic.